to five lawmakers in Sacramento are working to fight retail theft in California, but their work might silence the voices of the people. Thanks for joining us. I'm Rochelle Murcia. And I'm Michael Patterson. In addition to the Sacramento legislation, a bipartisan effort adding felony reforms to a 2014 proposition is gaining steam and is likely to be on the ballot in November. But as Will Silverstein explains, Californians may not have both. Will. Well, Michael Rochelle, prosecutors across California, including Kern County's own district attorney, Cynthia Zimmer, are behind the bipartisan measure to put, but legislators, excuse me, in Sacramento may put a poison pill in their legislation, meaning if a majority of Californians pass the crime classification reform, several retail theft bills in the legislature will have to go. Prop 47 was a ballot initiative that reset, if you will, some of the crimes and the punishments under California law. While a multifaceted initiative, the proposition most notably saw the reduction of crimes from misdemeanors to felonies. The initiative campaigned and aimed on reducing prison overcrowding. Dealing with crimes that many people thought were low-level crimes that were sending troves of people to jail and incarceration, which strained our budget, stretched our resources thin, and frankly had been shown to be an ineffective way to deal with crime. Prop 47 has just not delivered as intended. Jeff Reisig is the district attorney for Yolo County in Northern California. The DA looks at parts of 47's reading, such as theft under $950 reduction to a misdemeanor, no matter how many times a person commits that crime, as to why Californians want to change. What we've seen with the increase in rampant smash and grabs, retail theft, homelessness, and serious addiction is that we have real problems. But Democrat lawmakers in Sacramento are crafting their own set of bills and taking steps towards reducing crime. The problem is that the bills do not address reclassification of misdemeanors back to felonies, and something Reisig sees as dirty politics. Our position is their bills aren't bad, they're just totally incomplete. We were shocked to learn last week that the legislature had inserted what's called a poison pill. The poison pill is that if the reforms to 47 are passed at the ballot box, that set of 14 bills some Democrats hope to pass will be reversed, essentially forcing Californians to choose between the two at the ballot box instead of having both. What it comes down to is that Republicans used to accuse Democrats of being soft on crime. Well, it's changed. There are actual progressives that are pro-crime. Attorney and California RNC committeeman Sean Steele says the 14 bill route actually emboldens criminals. It also emboldens gangs, organized gangs. But the progressives don't understand how this is impacting and lowering the quality of life in every part of California. Pointer suggests people should be paying close attention. Voters and frankly California residents need to be keeping their eye on the ball as relates to the resources in our budget, as also our society's needs. The bipartisan measure has nearly one million signatures, more than enough to put on the ballot. Now the question is whether or not the potential poison pill creates a proposition battle like Prop 1 this past spring. Reporting in studio, Will Silverstein, Eyewitness News.